Well, you've probably heard about the exciting new trend of banks closing the accounts of people whose opinions are conspicuously contrary to the mainstream corporate narrative. Nigel Farage, the former leader of the Brexit movement in Britain, and now one of Britain's most prominent and patriotic conservative commentators on GB News, had his account closed by Coots Bank recently. Coots said it was because Farage didn't reach the minimum deposit required to do business with it. But it has since transpired that other clients have not been punished for falling below the same threshold. And seven other banks have since refused to take Farage's money. There have been other victims too. Dr. Leslie Soares, OBE, the Equality and Human Rights Commissioner for Scotland, was cancelled by the Bank of Scotland recently. Soares is a prominent defender of women's rights, which would give her many state and federal Australian counterparts cause for relief, given that they are conspicuously quiet on that and many other unfashionable human rights transgressions. And the charity, British charity Families Need Fathers, as well as the British Free Speech Union, among other organisations, have also had their bank accounts cancelled. This phenomenon is getting worse, as West Australian writer Rocco Loyakono writes in the current edition of The Spectator Australia. Quote, now banks have taken their puritanical war on freedom of speech to a new, more sinister level by adopting the Nero approach and specifically targeting Christian organisations. The banks are using a European Union law regarding, quote, politically exposed persons to do what would seem to the man in the street as vile and unjustified prejudice. There are moves in the UK to scrap the politically exposed persons laws, lawyer can know rights, but the message remains clear. Quote, behave yourself and you can live a measure of a normal life. Challenge the approved ideology and you will be punished, including switching off access to your own money and the Marxist commissars who enforce this new cultural revolution dare to call themselves progressive and tolerant.